reality of forensic reports, crime scene. Them dead, them dead, them dead, them dead, them dead. Them dead. back to my view tv the people's platform the home of undiluted news reviews updates and your daily dose of entertainment don't forget to hit the notification bell leave us a comment like share and subscribe i don't bring nobody forward in your future for me everything what you see up my natural talent let me tell you something you see when you know what to please the audience with it's simple me People don't care what you are going through as long as you are okay enough to come through for them. Strong people build foundation with bricks others have thrown at them. Why go on the people? Hope everybody doing okay. Hope everybody doing alright. And the mayhem continues. Somebody need to tell the police them so they have some whole heap of information for them so they need to circle the ends and hear what go on, power what go on. Because people are dead but people are not start dead yet. If the police them not come do something about this, no, 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 no. Quick and fast, whole heap of people are going dead. Keep my car relax, man, no, no, she's me there. Right around my yard, way. But I can give you some ghetto story first. The police them are going good. An unidentified man was shot and killed by police in Portmore St. Catherine this morning. The local piece of video see at the front part of the program. I eat that right there, 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 sir. So you can go back and look on it. You understand? According to information reaching our news team that sometime after 3 a.m., a group of police officers were patrolled in Nagazen, area of Portmore, when they signaled the drive of a Toyota Voxy to stop. The driver reported they disobeyed the command and opened gunfire on the team before speeding away. I wonder which part of him thinking with that speed go. The police gave chase and returned fire. I miss say people are right there so the Bangarang start. The driver lost control of the vehicle which crashed into a canal along the El Shemin Road. The driver and the other occupants of the vehicle, who should have all been dead, was found suffering from injuries and was taken to the hospital. So the police them fool And that is exactly what I say. All of them should have get slapped with. No left nobody for doing a balling. No, 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 no. You carry them, but you carry them for going and get treatment and put that one there on ice. Everybody should have got on ice. So what I said that I mean what I said. I you know me already people and not take you back. Watch your one pan walk one now. Tool gate me gone. Right in a Clarendon. No, no, no. Me never say me appear no tool. Listen what I go on, man. Police are trying to find a motive and a suspect following the killing of a motorist at my Gilchrist Palm in Tollgate in Clarendon. The dead man has been identified as 38-year-old Sheldon Smith from racetrack in Denby, Clarendon, was found dead in his motor car with gunshot wound. Execution style killing. Report reaching our news team that around 4 30 pm on Saturday, resident reported a heard explosion and summoned the police. On the arrival of the police, guess what, people? The body of the now deceased Sheldon, a same name, was seen in a white AD wagon motor car with the driver's door open and his upper body slightly outside. The police said the body had what appears to be gunshot wound to the head. Execution style killing. Me tell you no, low and head shot. The scene was processed and guess what? No no already, but me still I got tell you no. Then go fling down shell down by the pan ice. That is that way that is concerned. More news. Then now paper right on a jungle my god. Come and say little boy take a gun and decide say my shoot off a police and police fix it business. But hold on, I'm not ready for talk about that yet, you know. Me need to see if Mark Golden and Pang, yes. I need to see if you told them to walk up and down again on the road. Because see, the crime get out of control now and them now walk now, them now make no the nice. Them are the big idiot police boy that walk up and down with them. But them are this and them are that. From the day them walk, member, member, good people. From the day them decide, say them are walk. How much people don't start the road of that? Eh? And who are them go around the boat? Nothing more. Hold on now, I can just explain a little thing to a lot of people who don't understand the art of war. This is how it go. You got to kill a lot of innocent people in love and war. And that is true. So when they say one set of man decides to say, watch out, me a go for the family member and my enemy them, and the right thing them do. 
You cannot leave nobody for ball. You see the people them who are ball are the wickedest set of people them. The wickedest set of people them are come out and ball. Cause when them start ball and start telling them, say, watch out man, me have forgot. Take revenge me cause of me I go do this, me I go do that. And I go call them Monday and me I go tear down this and tear down that. If you get rid of them from early, nobody need for ball for say them little the thing there. All thing you need for do now, I find who you are worried and either them kill you or you kill them. Anyway now, what you are going on, what you are Right down the south side, my gun. You remember them two boys up on the screen? No, 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 people. Hold on, I'm not about to rush the news. I know dead, them dead. A matter of fact, them don't dead yet. And them family members won't start dead out. Remember, I tell me, I tell you, I'm going to go on, go on from early, you know. You see them at all out there? Remember the double murder where you go on in Malvern? I never remember the double murder. I did talk about it. When Junior and Chaps stay dead, and them at all out there, they kill them. Them at all out there, they kill them. They told you they're Malvern over gun business. Yeah, them at all out there. So you see this picture where you see right there, sir? When I look upon them right there, there, there sir? The guy police station, the police them take it to the people them all wonder if bad them there. Remember, remember, good them they broke like back, them the gun cross, no bad. So for the people them who don't wonder, when me reach at East Kingston, me dead now. Me dead there now. And me I got telling you know, how everything go. Ball to ball coming through, no go and get. You understand? Finally, the people them stop either than them bad side of them chimmy. I'm ready for talk. Good morning, sir. Just want to share this information with you sometime last year you was following up a story in the south side area, that's South Camp Road and Elliston Road, with a number of shootings and killing. I want you to share two story with you and this is 100% sure fact information too which I want you to make John public no ASAP because it gonna get worse. I am not sure if you remember about the shootings that took place down there on Malvern. The Don Head was killed in his house and nobody know who did it, that's a lie. Well people know it was Red Man he used to live in Malvern but run off in America even though he's in America he have talked down there. And they kill Head because he want Don ship of the lane. After killing Head Red Man and bred a dog, that's the Don for South start to link. But they fall out over some guns that went missing. With the gun missing it caused two men to die on Malvern Avenue, in a board daylight they go by the name Junior and Champs, which Champs is head nephew. A youth goes by the name Elder, lead the gunman them into the place and point out who to dead the morning. Elder was always a dog on Red Man Block which is Malvern but him switch and start par with Breda Dog. Red Man Breda who goes by the name Cheeky was killed like two weeks ago because he was one of the key witness in court on the two youth that police caught the same day of the shooting. So the man then trail him and flush him out out of Harborview side. Like a week and a half after that one of the youth with dead family and Cheeky stepson who goes by the name Gilly get into argument which a youth who goes by the name of Stephen. Went for a gun to give Gilly and then squeeze off two shot and then police run in and find the gun which is Red Man Gun. Guess what happens next you know them kill the youth on Blake Round last weekend Thursday and a blaming it on Breda Dog boys them which a red man say him must dead for the gun. Now Breda Dog man them a plan to turn Malvern and goes town. We are scared in the community we don't trust police to tell them shit because they are corrupt. But we know when you get information on your site police take notes and investigate and this is accurate information. The place is so tense daily. Please I'm asking you to put it out so these police will take what's going on serious because more people gonna die. We are all scared. All along gonna feel like something I know everybody business. I throw the piece that get to the people them know under the bed them decide to watch another man. We are come out come come talk now. But people about to worry yourself as me say. Watch your guan pa guan. Things to come. You understand that is part one. Remember remember good. Me not rush the news. Me not rushing the news. Keep back and relax and make a talk about something else now. I'm going to go and laugh till the week. Ex-girlfriend of a man is being sought by police after he was allegedly stabbed in Goshen District in Moko Clarendon Saturday afternoon. This is when I need crowd my people. Because I left in yard and got a woman yard about him and rent because a woman he later him up kill him. The incident reported happened after they had sex at a woman's home, the police said. The injured man had since undergone one operation after he was admitted in hospital in serious condition. Information reaching our news in that around midday, the man went to visit his ex-girlfriend, had sex with her and reportedly fell asleep afterwards. You sleep too much, man. 
Police said he was awoken by a sharp pain in his back. When he opened his eye, he saw his ex-girlfriend standing over him with a knife. He was then reported a stab in his abdomen. He managed to escape and was taken to the hospital. The police were summoned and briefly spoke with the injured man at the hospital while the medical staff attend to his injury. The police said efforts are ongoing to locate and apprehend the ex-girlfriend. Imagine a woman call her yard for a job piece of work and you gone go sleep. She no must stab you. Anyway, people, we can move on to the news. Come say, holy passing thing I along. Watch out one power walk one after we send a big idiot minto for go deal with crime. Crime we send him back like I said to Elizabeth no people. Come like Minto I sell alarm. I care alarm business him go down the boat. We appointed head of the St. Police Deputy Superintendent Courage Minto is encouraging citizens to use tracker and other available technology so that their motor vehicle can be recovered easily if stolen. We never send you in a St. Elizabeth without the business then. We send it down there for go slap the boy. That's how we send you about. The investigation is ongoing. We are currently questioning the owner of the premises. No one was arrested so far and we are doing some checks surrounding this premises and adjoining premises. Secondly, I want to you know, just use this opportunity to remind our citizens in the, in the division to try as best as possible to ensure that their vehicles are secure where possible. Use trackers, use um, alarms, and as, as best as possible to have the vehicles in a secured area. Um, but I, I know a number of vehicles are stolen uh, right across various divisions. Uh, but thanks to, as I indicated, we, we've utilized the technology, and, and that has aided us in the recovery of this car, along with intelligence that was provided by our counterparts in other divisions. Um, the division is quiet at this time. We continue to uh, appeal to our citizens to cooperate with the police.